Hey, Joy. Hey, Terry. You're back in town? I'm excited to see you. It's been a while, old friend. Tell me about it. I've missed you. I've missed all the old gang. Job, Steve, Beth. We've got to meet up and I'll tell you all about my travels. I can't wait to hear all about it. But enough about me. How have you been getting on, Joy? Still dating that jerk, Benjamin? Oh, God, no. Didn't I tell you already? I left that jerk a few months back. Cheating good for nothing? He cheated on you? Yeah, a bunch of times. Shouldn't have come as much of a surprise. In fact, I was the only one really shocked about it when I found out. It's just annoying I didn't call him out sooner. I knew it from the moment I met him. He couldn't be trusted. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Joy. So, you back on the dating scene? It's never taken you long to find a new guy. Well, as a matter of fact, I've met someone. You have? Who is it? Do I know them? Well, it's a weird one. Oh, not a guy? No, I haven't dated a girl in years. No, it's weird because I actually haven't met him yet. Oh, so it's a new guy. When did you start talking to him? Well, a couple of months ago, actually, over social media. He followed me and started liking some of my photos, replying to my stories, that kind of thing. I didn't think much of it, but he sort of looked familiar, like I'd seen him before. So I started a conversation with him, and we just clicked straight away. It was as if we had this immediate connection. It's unlike anything I've experienced before. Usually I date people based purely on attraction. And don't get me wrong, he's not bad looking, judging by his photographs. I mean, he's totally my type, which is a bonus. How come you haven't met up with him yet, then? Well... I've tried so many times. I keep suggesting these fun ideas for dates, and he sounds like he's really into them. But when it comes to actually organizing something with him, he just finds an excuse not to meet me. Like it's always a family emergency. His mom is sick or something like that. He's taking care of her upstate, which is cute and all, but I've even offered to visit him in his town. It's only a couple of hours drive away, but he says that there's nothing fun to do in his town. He wants to visit me in the city and do something with me here. Where's he from? A town called Fairfax. Oh, Fairfax. My uncle lives there. I go there all the time. Maybe I know the guy. What's his name? Well, uh, yeah, I, th I think you do. I do? Yeah, you guys follow each other. We do? Rex Everett. You know him? Sure, I know Rex. You do? Uh, phew. For a hot second there, I thought he might be a catfish. You know he only has, like, 50 followers. He's a pretty private guy, from what I know anyway. But I've met him a handful of times, and he's a really sweet guy. Just a good-natured dude. He hasn't got a bad bone in his body. To be honest with you, I'm even surprised he's on social media. What do you mean? He's... different. Good different? Yeah. He doesn't subscribe to any of this mainstream stuff. He's a man of the wild, as it were. Oh, yeah. He's been talking about this cabin he's building in the woods, showing me photographs of it. He doesn't want to show it to me in person until it's finished, though. Yeah, that's Rex. He's very particular about things. You know a lot about him? You have seen him much recently? Well, we used to play tennis together, actually. Tennis? Yeah, he's great at tennis. He never loses a game. Actually, come to think of it, that's a good thing to suggest for a first date. He's never turned down a game of tennis with me before. Are you sure? It sounds like a pretty weird first date, if you ask me. Trust me, he can't resist. Okay, if you say so, Terry. I'll ask him for a game of tennis. But knowing him, he'll find an excuse. Hey, if you're going to see your uncle soon, maybe you can swing by and see Rex. Put in a good word for me. Actually, wait a minute. I've got an even better idea. Yeah, what's that? Why don't you drive me to see him? You can visit your uncle and take me with you, and then we can surprise Rex together. I don't know, Joy. Why not? Well, for starters... Do you really want me to be there the first time you meet Rex in person? And wouldn't he get freaked out if I helped you surprise him? I don't know. Would he? You know him pretty well by the sounds of it. I don't know. I mean, it's a good idea, I suppose. He might just be afraid to meet you in person, but I don't know. Please, Terry, I'm begging you. It'll be fun. And besides, you can tell me all about your travels on the car journey there. Okay, fine. I'll pick you up tomorrow. I just need to double check with my uncle that it'll be all good to visit him. Okay, let's do it. I'm so excited. Thank you, Terry. You're the best. No problem, Joy. Anything for you. Hey, Rex. Hey, Joy. Nice to hear from you. 
Same. It's always nice talking to you. How's your mom getting on? She's okay, but she's not mobile. It's turning into a full-time job taking care of her. I just want to have some free time to build my cabin. And finally see you, of course. Same. I can't believe we've been talking for two months now and I haven't even met you in person yet. I'm sorry about that, Joy. I really am. Hey, I I've got a weird question for you. I love weird questions. Ask away. Okay. I was thinking, do you want to play a game of tennis with me? As far as weird questions go, that is pretty weird. But sure, I'd love to play a game of tennis with you. Are there any tennis courts near where you live? Well, I was thinking we could play tennis in Fairfax. Say, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Why not? It's the weekend and I thought it would be fun. How do you know I like tennis? Well, that's the thing. I didn't know, but we have a mutual friend. His name is Terry. Terry Jones. And he told me that the two of you are friends and you like to play tennis together. He said you'd never turn down a game of tennis, so here I am, asking you if you'd like to play tennis with me tomorrow. That's sweet of you, Joy. And yeah, I remember Terry. He's a nice fella. We played plenty of tennis together over the years. How do you know Terry? We've been friends since we were kids. We went to elementary school together. We've been friends ever since. He's the best guy in the world. Hasn't he been away for a while? Yeah, traveling the world. He just got back. He has an uncle that lives here. That's right small world. It is. So, what do you think? Terry says he'll give me a ride to Fairfax tomorrow. We can finally meet each other. For real this time. Uh, I don't know about tomorrow. Seriously, Rex? Not again. What do you mean? You keep blowing me off. Surely you can spare a couple of hours to meet me. We don't have to play tennis. We can just walk and talk and grab a coffee or something. Are you afraid to meet me? No, it's just complicated is all. My mom will be okay for an hour or two. You don't know that. You're not the one looking after her. I know, and I'm sorry for suggesting you leave her, but I don't usually do this kind of thing. What kind of thing? Talk to guys online for months without meeting them in person? Listen, I'm not suggesting you're not who you say you are. I've just had too many things happen in my life that has been too good to be true, and I don't want you to be one of them. I'm not afraid of meeting you, Joy. I'm sorry it's taken so long for us to meet in person finally, but I can't do it tomorrow. I'm sorry. I promise I'll make some time in the next few weeks to meet you. Few weeks? I've heard that before. Listen, Rex, it's fine, but I'm still coming to Fairfax tomorrow, so I guess if you want to see me, then let me know. I will, Joy, and I'm sorry. I really am. Hey, Beth. You okay? I'm good. You okay? Uh, not that great, actually. How come? You know that Rex guy I've been talking to? Yeah, he's the dude you haven't stopped talking about since he replied to one of your stories. Yeah. Oh no, did you meet him finally? Is he a creep? Well, no, I, I don't think so. He's a little weird, I guess, but that's not the problem. What is it then? Well, you know how he's been playing hard to get since I started talking to him? And by hard to get, I mean he's literally impossible to meet in person. Yeah? Well, it turns out Terry knows him. Our Terry? Yeah. Of course, his uncle lives out in Fairfax, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, Terry offered to drive me there tomorrow, and I thought, great, let's surprise Rex, it's written in the stars. But I texted him earlier with the news, and he just blew me off again. Seriously? Maybe it's time to call it a day with him, Joy, don't you think? If he doesn't want to see you in person, then there's something weird going on. I don't know, he's busy. He's taking care of his sick mom. And when he's not doing that, he's constructing this cabin. Cabin? Yeah, he's doing it up in his mom's backyard. That's strange. How come? Well, I don't know how common it is for folks to have cabins in their backyards in Fairfax. But Terry's uncle has one of those in his backyard. A cabin. He does? Yeah. Wait, I'll show you a photo of this cabin. Is it this one? Oh my god, that's it! That's Terry's uncle's cabin! What? I don't understand. He said it was his mom's. He said he was renovating it so he could live in it. No, that's Terry's uncle's cabin. I should know. I used to date Terry and he took me to see his uncle all the time. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That's Terry's uncle's backyard. 100%. I can draw you a photograph of that cabin from memory. Why would he lie? Yeah, good question. 
Listen, Joy, are you sure you're dealing with a real person here? Yeah, I mean, Terry knows Rex. Why would Terry lie about that? Wait a second, can you send me a photo of Rex? His profile is private. Yeah, one second. Here you go. Joy? Yeah? Joy, that isn't Rex. What? How do you know? Because that guy is a famous actor. Well, not that famous. He was in a few movies a while back, but I've watched him in some movies. That's Josh Buckle. In the photo you sent me? I've never heard of him. Google Josh Buckle, you'll see. Oh, God. I've been catfished, haven't I? How could I be so stupid? I'm so naive. But wait a second. Terry said he knew him. And that's a photograph of Terry's uncle's house. Is Terry's uncle Rex? You really aren't the sharpest tool in the box, are you, Joy? What do you mean? Listen, when you asked Terry to drive you to Fairfax tomorrow, did he protest at all? Did he try and make an excuse not to go? Yeah, he did, actually. Jesus, Joy, don't you see? Terry's Rex? I think so, yeah. Oh my god, but why? Why would he do this? As some kind of sick prank? Well, I don't know about that. You're going to have to ask Terry. But I can't believe he did this. Well, actually I can. Really? Come on, Joy, you really are naive, aren't you? Terry has been in love with you forever. Heck, he broke up with me because he was in love with you. He even told you that, but you said you only thought of him as a friend. Maybe this was his, admittedly. Very creepy way of finally dating you. I feel sick. Talk to Terry, but don't get in a car with him or anything. He sounds like he's unhinged. Okay, I'll text him now. Hey, Terry. Joy, listen, I was going to text you about tomorrow. Something's come up and we're going to have to postpone our little trip to Fairfax. Sounds about right. What do you mean? Well, we wouldn't have found Rex there. No? No. And you probably would have taken me to your uncle's cabin to murder me. Because I know it's you, Terry. You're Rex. I should have known. Beth figured it out in seconds. But silly little me was too dumb to notice the signs. Why did you do this? Please explain to me why you've wasted my time playing such a creepy little game. I thought we were best friends. We are best friends, Joy, but you must know. My feelings for you, I'm in love with you, Joy. I've always been in love with you, since we were in fourth grade, but you never felt the same about me. Heck, I had to travel around half the world just to forget about you. I was so embarrassed when you told me you didn't feel the same way about me, but I couldn't shake you, Joy. So I created this alter ego, someone you might connect with on an emotional level, as more than just friends. I was going to tell you that Rex wasn't real on our trip tomorrow, but I thought you'd freak out. So I thought there was no way you could ever find out. I was going to call things off with you as Rex tomorrow, but it doesn't matter now, I guess. It's over. And I guess it's over for our friendship, too. I just wanted to know what it would be like to date you, just for a little bit, even if it wasn't real. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm sorry I don't feel like that about you. I really do value you as a friend, but I'm going to need some time to get over this. This has really creeped me out. And furthermore, it's broken my heart. Well, if you manage to fix it, I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry, Joy. I've never been catfished before, and I never thought I would be. I still can't believe that it was my friend who catfished me. I guess some things in life really are too good to be true. As for my and Terry's friendship, it will never be the same. But I learned to forgive and forget, and now this creepy business is in the past, and we can both move on with our lives. <laughs>